write an email, send me a text, and let's continue to go on about our day. I think my daily mantra is not something that I necessarily have to say, but I live it. And that's Ubuntu. It's the idea that I am because of you are, um, recognizing that we're all interconnected and the decisions that we make live beyond just our individual experience. I think the most important habit that I that has gotten me to where I am is one, recognizing you don't have to say yes to everything. If it doesn't align with your mission, your purpose, and the goals that you have for your either your professional or personal career, you should feel empowered to say no. Uh, we don't have to take on too much. Um, we don't have to do work that doesn't make us happy and that doesn't bring us joy. And I think that's one thing that I've learned over the last few years is learning to say no and being happy with that. I think what I would hope to do less of is unnecessary meetings, right? If it can be put into an email or a text message, I think we're so consumed with just having our calendar packed with meetings and it's so unnecessary. Write an email, send me a text, and let's continue to go on about our day. I think one of the hardest decisions that I had to make was I grew up in a very poor community um, and I had to make the decision on whether or not I wanted to be a product of my environment or to use those experiences to better inform the communities that I cared about. And so the hardest decision that I had to make was leaving that community to um, advocate on behalf of it by working within systems and institutions that um, had the power to really change the course of the trajectory for many people from those neighborhoods. I think how I try to contribute to a better world is to recognize that I have, have had access and I currently have access and privilege that communities and people that look like me don't. And so I'm always thinking about who can I bring along? What stories can I insert into the spaces and places that were never meant for them? And how can I continue to elevate the voices of those who are not there and ensure that we continue to include them as we cultivate the solutions for change for the world? I think the best compliment I've ever received was from a mentor of mine who once wrote in a recommendation letter that I was teachable. And I think as a high school student, I thought it was very, I didn't think it was a compliment, but as I've gotten older, I realized I am teachable. I'm one of those people that aren't afraid to ask questions. Um, and I'm always willing to learn something new um, because I feel like we're all, we should all be kind of lifelong learners. And so that's the best um, compliment I've ever received is that 